humans, I'm Mr. King. Polymerization topic. So there are two types of polymerization, so-called addition polymerization and condensation polymerization. Addition polymerization takes place by breaking carbon to carbon double bond. Whereas for condensation, okay, it is done by removing a byproduct, so-called H2O molecule. So before you proceed, so what is monomers? Okay, monomers is the most basic unit. Polymers, okay, it is okay, two or more monomers joined together to form a large molecule. Alright, first, addition polymerization, okay, followed by some of the characteristics. Like example, it is done by breaking double bond. Okay, same functional group in all monomers and it produces only one product which is the polymer. Alright, okay, there's one more tip for you guys. Remember, only alkene can undergo addition polymerization because alkenes is the hydrocarbons with carbon to carbon double bond. Alright, example, ethene, yeah, C2H4. So, how it works, remember, it is done by breaking the double bond. So, the carbon to carbon double bond it is broken and then it is extended to the side then put bracket and put and so to name the polymer basically just add the word poly in front of the alkene will do so in this case it is polyethylene crazy that's it yeah sometimes in exam they might also ask you to draw polymers can okay, we show two repeats units of monomer so we know that this is one repeat units of monomer then you just repeat one more unit that's it yeah, in this case, no need to put bracket anymore. Remember, okay, putting bracket it is only for one monomer. Okay, then propene. So how do you draw polypropene? See, there are three carbon. And this is the common mistake done by a student. Okay, this is not the answer. Okay, remember, it is done by breaking double bond. And you need only two carbons to form a double bond. Therefore, when the double bond is broken, it will only extend from both the carbon that is joined with the double bond. So in this case, first you have to rearrange the hydrocarbons. So you see, you can bring the third carbons to the bottom of the second carbon. Then you break the double bond, extend the double bond, and put bracket. That's it polypropene so this is how it looks like okay so you see two repeat units of monomer same thing you see repeat two times right okay next condensation polymerization see the characteristics it is done by removing one byproduct okay and monomers that have two different functional groups and it produces two products so called polymer and byproduct Okay, remember the byproduct it is always H two O. Okay, and in order to form a water molecule, there are always hydrogen and hydroxide. So first, polyamide. So these are the two monomers. Okay, in order to form polyamide, and the monomers they are always the same. It is always these two. Alright, okay. For information, the blank rectangular boxes thing. Yeah, it is hydrocarbons. Okay, it stands for hydrocarbons. So you see, given with these two monomers, they will undergo condensation polymerization by removing a H2O. Remember again, in order to form a H2O, you need H and OH. Therefore, always take away the OH from the COOH monomers. Okay, and then you take away H from another monomer. So OH and H to join together to form the byproduct H2O. Then both the monomers, they will join to each other. So to form this, Polymer, see C O N H, and this C O N H bond it is called amide linkage. So that's the reason why it is called polyamide. Okay, next polyester. Okay, so these are the two monomers to form polyester. You see, one with C O O H functional group, another one with O H functional group. So how it works? Same thing. Take away O H from C O O H monomers and take away the H from another monomers to form the byproduct H two O. Then they will join together to form this polymer with C O O bond. Remember, here C O O bond it is also called ester linkage. That's it. Super easy. Okay, remember the monomers for these two polymers they are always the same. 
fix. Okay. So one more thing to take notes. Okay, the example of synthetic and natural polymer. So synthetic polyamide nylon, natural polyamide protein, synthetic polyester tellurene, natural polyester fats or lipids. Okay. So next, some examples of natural polymer. So first protein. Yeah, with the monomers called amino acid. So these are how the monomers of protein looks like so called amino acid. Alright, okay, remember the monomers of proteins contains two different functions. We see one side C O O H another side N H two. Alright, see if you notice. The patterns of the hydrocarbon box is different. Okay, this shows that all these three monomers are different from each other. Okay, for your information, there are about 20 different types of amino acid. Then condensation polymerization takes place. Always take away H2O, H and OH. So take away OH from COOH side. Take away H from NH2 side. Then all the monomers will join together to form this polymer you see with C O and H bond so called MI linkage. So this is the reason why protein is an example of natural polyamide. And next carbohydrates with the monomers called glucose. So this is how glucose looks like. So same thing take away H and OH to form the water molecule. Then monomers will join together to form carbohydrates polymer. So this is how it looks like with only O O O. Yeah, uh, lipids carry okay, the monomers, fatty acid, and glycerol. That's all you need to remember. Okay, so there is one more important thing for you to take notes. So the conversion of natural polymers. Okay, this only applies to natural polymer. So from monomers to polymer, it is called condensation, polymerization. Okay, from polymers back to monomers, it is called hydrolysis. Okay, and the condition for hydrolysis is acid. Okay, important. Other than acid, another condition for hydrolysis is enzyme. That's all you need to remember. Alright, thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.